Hey guys, it's Jaleesa. I am back with a skin video, and not a skincare video. I partnered with Sephora to show you guys how to fake perfect skin. That flawless, undetectable, unclockable skin. And I know you all want to know how I do it, so let's get into it. Okay, so to start, I already have on my moisturizer. I did a really lightweight one. This is from Clinique. It's the Dramatically Different uh, Hydrating Jelly, and then it has this uh, AHA sort of component in the middle. <laughs> But why I chose it was because uh, the Hourglass Foundation that I'm going to be using today, the uh, this is the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This foundation highly recommends that you don't use a primer and that you don't use anything too emollient or too rich and creamy. Um, so that way it can really adhere to the skin and stick to the skin. So I added a really nice lightweight moisturizer and then we can get into the foundation. So before we get into the foundation, I wanna actually uh, conceal some of the larger breakouts and spots that I have. So that way I have a more even skin and I don't have to apply as much foundation to cover up these spots. So I'm adding a little bit of the Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer and I'm using the shade 3W. And then I'm gonna take this Hourglass Number no. Two brush and just tap that in very, very lightly. And just give that a moment to set and adhere to the skin. Ooh, the sun just came out. It was raining and the sun is out. How pretty. Okay, anyway, onto the foundation. So for foundation, I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish. Wow, that's a lot of S's. Vanish Seamless <laughs> Finish liquid foundation and I'm taking the shade golden tan it's a perfect match for my skin tone so before we get into it I really want to talk about what type of skin I have I have combination skin which means it's pretty normal around the cheek area chin but then when we get to the t-zone it does tend to get a little bit oily especially during the day I end up having to blot and do all this extra powdering and all the other stuff so what I really like about this foundation is that um, it's really long wearing and it's oil free, so it's perfect for a combination skin. So I'm gonna take half a pump, which Hourglass recommends. This right here is a full pump. So we're gonna do half of that all over the face and that's gonna give us full coverage. So I'm just gonna dot this all over like that. And then we can use the Hourglass number no. two brush just to start buffing that in. So I have pretty sensitive skin and I'm always looking for a foundation that's really good for covering all of like the redness around my nose from the sensitivity and also all over my face too. And this one does such a good job. It's like super full coverage. Like I said, this is only half a pump. So I'm just gonna keep working that into the skin. And what's really great about it too is that it's transfer proof, it's waterproof, it's sweat proof. So you're not gonna have to touch up like you would with any other foundation. And as you can see, that looks really nice. Just that like half a pump looks really nice and smooth. It goes on really smooth, it blends out really seamlessly, easily. And it has a really nice natural finish, so it just looks like skin, right? Looks really beautiful. Which is perfect for faking that like, less is more, no makeup, makeup, perfect skin look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more just in the areas where I want more coverage. This is normally where I would conceal but because this foundation is so um, highly pigmented, um, I'm not gonna need concealer. It's pretty much gonna do the trick. So if you guys struggle kind of like I do with trying to figure out foundation shades, there's so many options at Sephora. You can go online if you're like me who, you kind of, you like going into the store, but sometimes you're just like going online on a whim, putting a bunch of stuff in your cart, check it out. So if you go online, they have a quiz on there and you can basically enter in the quiz, like your skin type, what kind of foundation you like, whether you like a powder, a cream, a, a liquid, 
you know, and the quiz will basically recommend to you your best foundation choice. And also they have a shade finder on there too if you're not really good at picking shades. But the good thing about the Hourglass foundation is that it does come in so many, so many shades. So there's definitely a shade for everyone. Um, but if you like going into the store, which I also like to do on a whim, <laughs> If you like going into the store, you can always get a beauty advisor to help you out and shade match you and recommend a foundation for you. And they also have sampling, which is my favorite thing. I, I love to go in there and get some samples. I <laughs> love a good sample. And then you can try it out before you buy it as well. So you can go in there, get a sample of a couple of shades, a couple of foundations, and then try them out at home, see how they wear to your skin, and then you can go back and buy it, um, you know, once you find one that you love. So there's so many possibilities at Sephora, which is why it's definitely my favorite place to get makeup. I'm always at Sephora, whether I'm online, just like what's new or, you know, in the store, like what's new. <laughs> oh God, it's my favorite. I mean, honestly, anyone that loves makeup will tell you they love Sephora. I'm gonna come in close so you can really see what it looks like on the skin. Like, talk about seamless vanish, okay? <laughs> seamless vanish. This is crazy. Like, this is beautiful. Like, literally flawless. Okay, so once we have our base into place, I'm gonna go back in with my concealer just for the under eye because I love a nice a bit of brightening and lifting. So I'm gonna take uh, the Flawless Fusion Concealer again from Laura Mercier, but this is 3C. And it's like a salmon-y pink shade, which is really great for canceling out any darkness. This is like my correcting shade. And then I'm gonna go in with 3W um, once I blend that out and that's gonna give me just a little bit of highlighting and lifting. I'm just gonna take a tart brush just to pat that in and really get like a nice airbrushed finish to my concealer. My little kitty here wants to get in the camera. Lenny, I'm gonna need you to do a kitty does my makeup tutorial. We're gonna figure it out somehow. <laughs> See already, that just like, you know, it does, it does what it needs to do. And then we'll take the 3W just to do a little bit here. I actually wanna try that with the number two brush and see what that does. It actually does a really good job. Okay, so once I have that into place, I'm just gonna set my face with a little bit of Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm gonna take another tart brush just to do that. Just fits so well under the eye. And I like to set around the mouth where I tend to have my smile lines. I smile too much. I mean, is that possible? Right, and there we have our perfectly seamless base. It looks like perfect skin. Doesn't look heavy, looks very nice and natural, super smooth. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back to show you the finished look. So here's the finished look. I went with something really nude and simple to complement our fake perfect skin. It's something that you can wear every day to school, to work, to running around doing errands. It's so fast, so easy. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I thank Sephora so much for parting with me on this video. It's been a pleasure. I love you all so much and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.